pop legend Janet Jackson, 55, appeared on Zoe Ball's Radio 2 breakfast show this morning to chat about her new, eponymous documentary. Janet is a four-hour journey through the highs and lows of the superstar's career, but she wasn't sure it would be such a hit at first. Speaking to Zoe, 51, Janet explained that she originally thought that her documentary might be boring for viewers. She said, I thought it would be quite boring for a lot of people, basically for everyone. My favorite episode was the very first half of the first episode which was about my family and growing up and all my brothers and sisters, she continued. That's the episode that I enjoyed the most, everything else after that really is more so about me and I thought, oh my gosh, this is so boring, are they gonna take to this? But I'm just so happy that everybody has just been really, really liking it. Janet is one of the best-selling and highest-earning artists of all time, but things haven't always been easy for the performer. The star endured a shocking amount of public scrutiny, and her turbulent private life will have undoubtedly been a source of great stress throughout her career. Now, 40 years on from the release of her very first album, Janet has allowed herself to go to some vulnerable places. During their interview, Zoe took the opportunity to ask Janet how she approached some of the more difficult parts of her life whilst filming the documentary. It was hard, it was cathartic, therapeutic, but it was difficult, she replied. It was draining, but you know just had to come to work and open, completely open. Over the course of four episodes, Janet opens up about tough topics such as the infamous Super Bowl performance with Justin Timberlake and the tragic death of her brother Michael. Janet's well-known stint on the Super Bowl halftime show in 2004 remains one of the most talked about moments from the show in history. The star was headlining the show, with Timberlake as the surprise guest, before a simple accident resulted in more than half a million complaints being launched at CBS. During a duet performance of his song Rock Your Body, Justin appeared to rip off Janet's top in an unplanned moment, exposing her bare breast on live television. To make matters worse, it happened as he sang the lyrics, bet he'll have you naked by the end of this song. As it was later clarified, the move had been choreographed so that only a bit of fabric would come off, but a wardrobe malfunction meant that Justin removed more fabric than was intended. At the time he released a statement saying, I am sorry if anyone was offended by the wardrobe malfunction during the halftime performance at the Super Bowl. It was not intentional and is regrettable. As a result of the unfortunate on-air mishap, Janet was unfairly blamed and derided even though it wasn't her fault, and her career even suffered as a result. Nonetheless, her legacy has lasted all the same and she has even teased about releasing a new single. All four episodes of the Janet Jackson documentary are available to watch in the UK on Now TV. The Zoe Ball Breakfast Show on Radio 2, listen back on BBC Sounds.